Last week I done a walk doing how to add a video into a section background on Squarespace and I thought well why not complete the collection and show you how to add an image as well. So I'm going to show you how to add the image, it's pretty much the exact same process but there's just a few other things that we can do to that image in the background. It should take me like, I always say 30 seconds and it takes like 4 minutes. So I'm going to say it'll take 4 to 5 minutes but it'll probably be like 30 seconds. Anyway. Let's go on over and I'll show you how to do it. A little bit of trivia for anyone who's watching this and who cares. I do change this background image every single week just so the thumbnails don't look super boring. So I'm quite well versed in how to change section backgrounds. Anyway, anyway, so we go to whatever page that we want to change the background of or whatever page that has a section in that we want to change the background of. So. Now Squarespace has switched up their menu system, we go into website, which is essentially just pages. Then we go into edit, and then we've got our section. So we find the section that we want to change, we click on this, which is edit section. Then we click background, and then you can see we've got the choice of image, video, or art. Now obviously we just want to add an image in this instance. So let me get rid of this. This is what your section will actually look like, and you'll be presented with this. So we click plus. And then you can either upload a file from your computer so you just click upload and then you can choose anything from your computer or you can click again and you can select something that you've already got on your website or you can browse stock imagery so you click on this click add and it's in now what we can then do is add an effect if we want so we click effect and you can see we've got this groovy water one we've got a grainy one we've got a parallax scroll one we've got refracted circles and then we've got don't even know what you'd call that diagonal something so let's go back into there you can keep whatever you want on you can actually customize these if you want or you can actually shuffle them so get a little shuffle going you can get something that you might like the look of anyway if you don't want that you can just click none and we go back and then what we can do the next thing is click inset so if we want to sort of border around the section we can have that or we can have it full bleed then the next thing is opacity so you can go up to 90 percent down to zero depends how vibrant you want the image and if you have like elements such as text on a background then ideally you're going to want some level of opacity so i usually keep it around 25 to 40 30 seems okay in this instance then once you're happy just hit save and you're done it's as simple as that if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all the Squarespace resources in the description below.